coronavirus pandemic is challenging global health, and it is certain that long ultrasound is exceptionally advantageous when identifying patients with COVID-19, as it's compact, easy to use, and relatively safe. We'll use the BLUE protocol, which is BESA lung ultrasound in emergencies. This is for patients with dyspnea, and this procedure will focus mainly on A lines and B lines, which will be explained later in depth. ASE focus protocol for suspected or confirmed COVID-19 patients explains the lung findings such as a thickened and irregular pleural line and scattered B lines are consistently found in viral pneumonia. With lung ultrasound, you should find a pleural line and the ribs. The pleural line is a single hypoechoic line and rib shadows stretch to the bottom of the image. These lines and ribs should make a bad sign. You can find reverberation artifacts originating from the pleural line, which is called A lines. These repetitive bright horizontal lines are the same as the distance between the skin and the pleural line. A line is a normal finding of a lung. However, a vertical, hypoechoic line called B line can be found in viral pneumonia. It's also an artifact created when sound waves come across air and water and extends from the transducer towards the bottom of the screen. So it's also called comatid artifact. And it moves with respiration. As I mentioned earlier, Long ultrasound findings in COVID-19 patients include thickened and or irregular pleural line, B lines and consolidations. AQY7 has a fast preset called EM, which is emergency medicine. You can adjust a few parameters, but we only discuss essential ones. With lung scanning, it is recommended to turn off SRI. and also reduce spatial compounding levels to zero. Because important findings of lung ultrasound, such as A-lines and B-lines, are artifacts. In addition, the depth of lung scan should be about 15 centimeters. Now we are going to start scanning. Before we start, we are going to divide chest into A sections. Four sections for each side. First, you need to choose your transducer and a preset. And then with your transducer, you need to know where your marker is. This indicator should be oriented towards the patient's head or the right side. Now, let's begin. Before we begin, you need to make sure that your patient lifts his arm and then place your transducer on his body. We're going to start from section 1. You need to find your plural line and the ribs. And then slowly glide a gel on his body in shape S. Now we are going to move on to section 2. Now let's move on to section 3. Don't forget to move your transducer in the shape of S. For the last part, we're going to see the section 4. In the section 4, what you need to see is the end of the lung, which encounters the spleen. You can scan the right lung as same as you did with the left lung. However, as you can see the border of the lung in section 4, you need to scan spleen on the left and liver on the right. The coronavirus pandemic is challenging global health and it is certain 
that lung ultrasound is exceptionally advantageous when identifying patients with COVID-19 as it's compact, easy to use and relatively safe.